next thing that we want to do is we want to look at um, some kind of visual tools for analyzing solutions to differential equations like this. And to do so, we're going to just think back to what this, uh, this idea of a derivative meant anyway. Um, so in the first example, let's go back to this idea of a function whose derivative is x squared. And let's look at just a grid of points. So the idea here is that what we know, what we are able to tell is not the value of a function, but instead the value of the slope of its tangent line at some point. For example, anywhere where x is 0, this, um, this solution has a, slope, a tangent line whose slope is 0, because 0 squared is 0. So if we were to consider this grid um, of points, then we know that everywhere that x is 0, we'll have a little tangent line that is 0. All right, we can tell that about every point where x is 0. And when x is 1, we'll, we know that the slope of the tangent line is 1 squared or 1. So uh, if we just look at these points everywhere where x is 1, we can draw a little line called an isocline with a little bit more slope, right? Because that's 1 is more than 0. So it would be sloped upwards. Maybe I drew it too sloped upwards. Then when x is 2, we have a slope of 2 squared or 4. So now our tangent lines would be steeper still. You know, I think I, I'm not good at... I should have been a little bit more conservative here. But anyway, and so on and so on. And you can do this at every point on this grid. And it's important to have a grid of points because we're not just interested in one pair of x's and y's. I'm not interested at just when x is negative 1, what one y value equals. I'm interested in a family of them. So we have a whole grid of points that we're substituting in. And again, we said that the solution to this would be uh, anything that looks like this, x cubed over 3 plus some constant. And if we were to draw a couple of these examples in here, for example, if maybe c were um, for c equal to negative 1, 0, and 1, if c is 0, then that's just the curve x cubed plus 3. Um, we know that that goes through the point 0, 0, and it would look, you know, something like this. Um, x cubed plus 1 would just be that same curve shifted up one unit. And minus 1 would be it shifted down one unit. You know, and we could continue to just, we would see this kind of pattern coming out of these uh, little tangent lines. All right, but you know, you can see that drawing it by hand is going to be a little bit uh, of a ridiculous exercise. So usually we'll use technology to, to visualize these slope fields. All right, so let's look at our other example where we had the derivative or the differential equation um, dg dx was equal to the sine of x. Again, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a grid of points. In, in Python, we have to do this by first um, defining uh, our our range and domain, and then we, we put them together and make a grid using this mesh grid. Um, and I'm going to both create little arrows using this quiver plot method, where you see that what we, we're starting at each of the points on the grid and we're ending at, um, I'm taking a step of one in the x direction and the y direction is dictated by my differential equation. All right, that's where I'm going and why. So we give starting and stopping points to these arrows. That's what this quiver function does. And I'm also going to add in there, because we know what the solution looks like. We know that the solution to this, we said, was negative cosine of x plus or minus some constant. So let's rip over values between negative 3 and 3 and add those to the cosine. And let's see what this looks like. Okay. And that's exactly what we uh, hope for, right? We know that these blue lines form solutions to that differential equation. The derivative of uh, negative cosine of x is the sine of x, but also with these different constants. And sure enough, they follow, these curves follow those little isoclines that we've, we've drawn, or these, 
maybe the, I mean we have arrows and direction now on these but we don't really have to you know these are just supposed to be little tangent lines okay and so this is an approach these are called slope fields and this is an approach that we can use to visualize uh, solutions to differential equations usually what we'll be looking at is just instead we'll we'll just be looking at the arrows we won't know what the um, we won't know what the actual solution to it is and we'll try and get a sense for something of the nature of the solution based on the behavior of this direction field 